Hi everyone, welcome to the Prime Math Lovers YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve this equation x plus radical x minus 1 plus radical x plus 1 plus radical x squared minus 1 is equal to 4 and x is a real number. Uh, we need to solve the equation means we need to find x. <coughs> First of all, we need to determine the domain of the equation. Do, uh, domain means that um, the, uh, what x can be. Uh, because we, in x minus 1 is under the square root, x minus 1 cannot be uh, negative. It has to be positive or 0, greater than or equal to 0. So uh, the domain is x greater than is equal to 1. If x is greater than or equal to 1, we won't have here a negative number and here as well. So the domain is x um, is greater or equal to 1. Uh, for <clears throat> solving this uh, problem, first we <clears throat> uh, write down it again and um, Instead of x squared minus 1, I write down x minus 1 times x plus 1. This is from um, difference of squares identity from algebra. algebra. So, um, and then I write it, uh, the equation down again, write it down again, and this time I separate these two uh, terms. Uh, so it will be radical x minus 1 times radical x plus 1. Uh, to, uh, for the next step, what I do, I add minus 4, negative, sorry, minus 1 or negative 1 to the both sides of this equation. So it will be x minus 1 plus radical x minus 1 plus radical x plus 1 plus radical x minus 1 times x radical x plus 1 is equal to 4 minus 1. And uh, in now we you uh, we apply <coughs> um, substitution method means that we let m is equal to radical x minus one which is this part radical x minus one and another uh, substitution variable is um, uh, okay when we put uh, let a, m is equal to radical x minus one and x is uh, equal or greater than one then uh, m will be equal or greater than 0. Means m is has to be 0 or a positive number, cannot be a negative number. The other substitution uh, variable is n. n is equal to radical x plus 1. And um, again, for the same reason, the domain of n is greater than or equal to radical 2 or square root of 2. Now I... Um, replace all the terms um, with m and n so x minus 1 radical x minus 1 is m so x minus 1 will be m squared plus m plus n plus m is our m m times n is equal to 4 minus 1 which is 3 uh, I write down the <clears throat> I write down the equation again and this time instead of negative 1 I add positive 1 to the both sides so it will be x plus 1 and the rest is equal to 4 plus 1 this time x plus 1 will be n squared n is radical x plus 1 so x plus 1 will be n squared and we'll have n squared plus m plus n plus uh, m times n is equal to 4 plus 1 which is 5. Now uh, <clears throat> I add these two both sides of these equations together so I will have m squared plus m plus n plus mn plus n squared this equation plus m plus n plus mn is equal to 3 plus 5. And uh, I 
write it down in this way it will be m squared plus n squared plus m plus m will be 2m n plus n will be 2n m n plus m n will be 2 m n is equal to 3 plus 5 which is 8 and I if I um, do this way so it will be m squared plus n squared plus 2 m n plus 2 m plus 2 n is equal to 8 we know from Hayam um, Newton Pascal um, expansions identities which a plus b to the power of 2 to raise it to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab so i can replace m squared plus n squared plus 2mn with m plus n squared so i will have m plus n squared plus uh, i factor 2 plus 2 times m plus n and i take 8 to the first side minus 8 is equal to 0 now we need to solve this equation I do um, in, in this step I subtract this from this so I will have um, <clears throat> So I will have um, m squared plus m plus m plus m n minus n squared minus m minus n minus m n is equal to 3 minus 5. We can cancel this positive m with this negative m, this positive n with this negative n, and this plus m n, positive m n with this negative m n. And we will have m squared minus n squared is equal to minus 2 and we know that from difference of squares we can write down m plus n times m minus n is equal to minus 2 we continue to solve with these two equations so this looks like a quadratic equation and for quadratic equation like a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero the x will be minus b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac over 2a so and in in this equation our variable instead of x is m plus n and a is 1 b is 2 and c is minus 8 so we can write that m plus n which is our variable is equal to minus b which is minus 2 plus or minus radical b squared b is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 is a and c is minus 8 over 2 times a which is 1 and this will be 2 uh, to the power of 2 will be 4 minus 4 times minus 8 is 32 we will have minus 2 plus or minus square root of 36 over 2 and we know that square root of 36 is 6 so we will have two answers for m plus n we have m plus n is equal to minus 2 minus 6 over 2 which is minus 8 over 2 or minus 4 and the other answer is m plus n is equal to minus 2 plus 6 over 2 is equal to 4 over 2 and is equal to 2 so we will have we have two answers for m plus n m plus n is equal to minus 4 or m plus n is equal to 2 okay We, uh, we um, continue to, uh, to solving the pro um, questions by using these two answers with this, uh, with this um, equation. So m plus n is equal to minus 4. And we know minus 4, uh, m plus n times m minus n is equal to minus 2. two. So minus 4 times m minus n is equal to minus 2. 
then minus m minus n will be 1 over 2 or half. Uh, I, uh, I sum these two equations, so it will be uh, plus n and minus n will be cancelled, and 2m, 2m will be minus 4 plus 1 over 2, which will be minus 8 over 2 plus 1 over 2, and at the end, 2m is equal to minus 7 over 2, or m is equal to minus 7 over 4, 7 over 4. Uh, I divide both sides of the equations by 2, and I'll have m. But our domain for m is uh, greater than or is equal to 0, and this answer is not acceptable. The other answer is m plus n is equal to 2. m plus n is equal to 2. And if we put 2 here, 2 times m minus n is equal to minus 2. It means m minus n is equal to minus 1. Minus 2 divided by 2. And again, I uh, add these two equations together. We, uh, plus n and minus n will be cancelled and 2m will be 2 minus 1 which is 1 and m is equal to 1 over 2 and, um, but m is equal to radical x minus 1 so square root of x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 we raise both sides of the equations to the power of 2 and we will have x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 4 or x is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1, and the answer of equations will be 5 over 2, as simple as that. Now we check our answer. So, um, at the, in, in the equation, I replace x with five, 5 over 4. So, I'll have 5 over 4 plus square root of 5 over 4 minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 4 plus 1 plus square root of 5 over 4 squared minus 1 and it will be 5 square 5 over 4 plus square root of uh, this will be 5 minus 4 over 4 this will be 5 plus 4 over 4 and this will be 25 over 16 5 over 4 squared then I'll have 5 over 4 plus 1 uh, square root of 1 over 4 plus square root of 9 over 4 and plus square root of 25 minus 16 over 16 and we will have again these three terms plus 25 minus 16 will be 9 over 16 this will be 5 over 4 radical 1 over 4 will be 1 over 2 square root of 9 over 4 will be 3 over 2 and square root of 9 over 16 will be 3 over 4 and it will be 5 over 4 plus 3 over 4 I put uh, move it to here and 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2 and this will be 8 over 4 plus 4 over 2 8 over 4 is 2 4 over 2 is 2 and uh, answer is 4 which proves that our answer is correct I hope uh, <clears throat> you found the video enjoyable it would mean a lot if you could give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Thank you very much. Wishing you a fantastic time wherever you are on this planet. Cheers.